Okay, I tried to put the clip on. Was it last night? I believe it was last night. I finished putting it together and all that stuff, and I put uh, just use cheap Super Tech 2050. It's a little thicker wool. It's not as thick as that 9080. Uh, it still has a one bad spot in it, but remember the bearings were bad in this and it was going like this, so I think it wore out the one piece. Hear it? Right there. But I can still spin it. It's in gear there too, so. Uh, I got tools laying everywhere because I was working on my sister's car again today. That's reverse. There it is. You can hear it, but it's not super bad. But the little clip that goes on here flew off. They're a nightmare. I did notice that the clips that go or hold your wheels on are the same. But what I'm thinking about is drilling a hole in here and tapping this. And putting a bolt on there. And then I can still put the washers to go around it. But the bolt would, would hold it. Because there ain't no up above it. I don't know if that would work or not. I'm going to find out. I know. Before you say anything. I know it's going to spin. I'm going to try to hold it. I don't know if it's going to work. You're going to. You gotta try things. Don't try stuff. You never know. That drill bit is actually walking. The heavy drill bits I got over here are old. That wasn't very tight. And when it Went down and tore it up, so. I could probably grind that. Throw grease on top, too, it seems like it. I'm just trying to get it near centered. I ain't worried if it's centered. All I'm doing is playing chase the uh, scratches or marks. I believe it's hard and steel. Like axle steel. 
I believe. And if it is, my butt, my bits, there's no way it's gonna do it. Nope. Well, it was nice thinking about it. Nice try. But, since I said about them axles, I got that other axle, remember, I got from the junkyard, one of the tires. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab one of them. But out there at the screwdriver, which screwdriver gonna fit? I'll try a smaller screwdriver and a big one. That's not going to work. Give me a couple minutes, guys. Uh, that's got the same type of clip on that rear that was holding this on. So i got to go get some, a light and some other things. I'll be back and we'll put it together. See if it's the same size. Okay, I got it off, but uh, man, it's a huge, big, thick one. I don't even know if I'm going to get it on there. Uh, first, got to get the bent, uh, we're going to use a bent washer and a regular washer. She's sick. And uh, I tried my Harbor Freight pliers. It just bent them to smithereens. Look. <laughs> I smushed them bad boys. I can straighten them back out, but it won't open this clamp. It opened the other one. It's the wrong size anyway. But at least I got it off of the wheels. I'm matching it up. Looks like it might be the same size as uh, the regular V's for the wheels, but I don't even know if that's going to work. I'd like to find the original one that I could get a, a new one, but it went flying. It's in this garage somewhere. Oh, just try. Yeah, 
Let's see how close it was. And These pliers ain't worth a darn. I know this is not the right way to do it. I just want to see. I'm trying to get a measurement. Well, that's not going to work, but it is back together. So, it goes, gets tight right there. Well, let's, let me see something. Uh, I had this stuff out earlier today. Now I can't find it. I was going to make a mark. I had markers and stuff. Let me check out here. I did leave my cutting uh, pieces out there that I cut wires with, but these, they're pruners, they're for pruning flowers and stuff, but they work great cutting wire. Uh, I think it's a small screwdriver, because I... Let's see where it's getting tight. See, it's starting right there. I think you got to see it. I can. Well, it's a half a turn. Really getting tight right there. Then it loosens up. Tight there. And then it loosens right there. Tight. It's a half a turn of tightness. Tight right there. And then it loosens up right there. So, I think that's going to wear in with that grease or whatever it is. It's something on a cock, cockeyed or something's bent. But, I can spin it with my fingers now, like this. I couldn't do that before. We just got to get a clip. And, still got to put the, the brake mechanism back on. Let me show you how it works. Sorry, my hip ain't moving too great. My hip is really on fire today. I know you ain't seeing the best. Let me get the uh, lantern. I just don't want to get this one all dirty. I got fishing lanterns. There you go. What I got to do to get my break back on is this bolt and this bolt so I 
I'm missing a uh, socket, it looks like. I'm going to find my socket. It might be on up. It's probably on up there. And all my blue ones are here. These from Harbor Freight. And this is one of their dollar ninety nine. It used to be two bucks. They say all my tools are hard for eight. Guaranteed for life now. Ends a little loose. See that? It's a little loose, so you could. So I'm gonna go to the metric or stand. It might be standard. It's probably one I got up on the table. These are standard. Let's see if there's one on the table. This out should fit. Very, very hard any movement. I don't need a stitch in this song, but. These are the same bolt heads that are on the transmission case holding it together. Now if I had that shorter, it would have been easier to take off. It's a, that, that was acting like a torque on, on a truck or whatever. Taking some of the, the stuff that I got putting on it out. It was twisting a little bit. You can buy uh, stuff for your impacts. It's a torque piece that goes on there. Now, this goes flat against there, I believe. But all we want to do, or we'll do in this video here, is clean this up. Just smash my finger and you guys seen it. I ain't seen blood coming out. No, but it hurt. But I'm not a uh, city boy, so. I'm going to keep on going with it. A little dirt in there, it. It, it'll be alright. Just can't use that in the press right now. Just gotta watch it because it doesn't sit on this bucket greatest. I turned the bucket over, but then I got the bucket full. Let's see if we can get a wire brush. See if we can't not try not to smash our fingers. It's slipping down the, in the bucket. It did. Yeah, it's a little little red and blood, but it's not blinking out of me yet. See, I used the finger already. It's got a little thump into it. It's like a cam and a motor. It's a thumping. It's going thump, 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 thump. I'm just trying to get it where if I have if I can maybe I can get the brakes to work. I don't know if they'll work or not. It'd be nice to have brakes, but it's a long motor. I ain't gonna make us undo 60 mile an hour, so and this is just a test product or 
to get used to these transmissions because this first transmission I've torn apart like I told you in a long time. I used to do the H patterns. It was a first, second, you go over, that was a third and reverse. That's what I'm looking for. I'd like to have a tractor like that, another one. That's our last tractor. If you look back, I think I called it a mud mower too, but I sold that for 350 I didn't have tons in it, but time and labor I had a lot, but not tons of money. And that thing would get it. They had full of tires all the way around. Pretty clean. And that just sides on there. Now this is the part you're really going to have to clean. This has got a brake shoe right here. I don't know what it's made out of. But you want to get all the stuff you can off. Looks like it's got one there and one right here. So you probably can replace them. I would say they're pro you can probably buy them. Never tried. Never needed to. But someone out there is going to be making rig pads for these. But if you're a young kid or just someone messing around, you might not want to, you might not be worried about that. But if you are trying to actually fix your motor for mowing, you might want that. Or doing hardcore mow mudding you might want if you go do a hill climb so you don't when you start coming back you don't want to slide back got a little clip that just fell off got to figure out where that goes I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take all this apart Maybe. It's a 13, it cause uh this is just a 12, like I'm barely biting it. I'm just taking the nut off. I'm going to take all the parts apart. And you see the pad just popped out. Now I'm going to clean this part up. Somewhat. Ain't going to be perfect. I can clean it up better later. But if you want your brakes to actually work, you definitely don't want this uh, dirt and grime on there. The dirt probably wouldn't hurt, but this grime and grease, it's just like pouring oil on your brake uh, shoes. Or it's like when they glass up, they heat up. I can see tons of stuff on this brake. It's got two pieces here. This is the actual brake piece, I can tell. Uh, I can tell you that because of this right here is a little plate. And this plate has two circles on it. 
right there. So this is going to want to go in here first. Then clean your uh, brake shoe off the best you can. That's going to go in now. I'm going to go ahead and set this together. I don't have to put the, the pistons in the rods in yet. All right, now we're going to go ahead and see if we can clean these little pistons up. And I'm going to have to look up because this fell off and I don't know actually how it goes on. Now it's good to have a little anesthesia grease or something on these. But you don't want it because you want them to move in and out pretty easy. It's not too bad. See if I take the one that's not greased. See I'm having a, it's moving the whole thing. One that is greased. It, it moves pretty easy. Or the one I mean clean not greased. My mistake. I'm just cleaning all the crud off. Inside the hole could be clean a little too. You could use a pipe cleaner or something like that for that. Then the washer is going to go on. I'm trying to figure out where the wet spot is. I just. Climb, we're going to clean this washer. Tons of dirt and grime. And it looks like it was pushing this way, so that's going to go on like that. This goes on here. I'm going to clean this up. Now I can, I'll fix this later on, whichever way it goes. I believe it goes this way, but I ain't for sure. But this right here is what's got me puzzled. It's some type of spring at that, like a. No, it might not be. But it goes in there somewhere. And I don't feel any. Holes or nothing. I have to look some stuff up. Unless you guys know what this is. If you do. Let me know in the comments. Now this is a 13. This ain't the right size. But it will work. We're going to uh, tighten up these fittings. I'm just snugging them up for now. Thought pushing it 
back. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. I'm going to put it together so I'm not missing any parts. And this right here, I know it is adjustable. Let's see if we can make it work now. Since it's somewhat clean. What you gotta do is put it in a gear. Yeah, the brakes are already on. Oh yeah, but I ain't kidding either. Just by a little bit. You can see how they work. That's all it does. If we tighten that up a little more. That's too tight right now. I can't, I can barely spin it. That's all we lose, so. You want a little bit of play in there, not tons. Oh man, that works good guys. See look. Then you got adjustment. I'm going to loosen up a little more, but... Then you, there you go. Then you got adjustment on your rod that goes in too. I usually got a keeper, a pin that goes through that. So let's take it. That should be in fifth. That's reverse. Neutral. Maybe. Nope. I think that's neutral. Let's find out. That's neutral. It spins all the other gears. But it don't spin the other, the other one, so. Alright, if you like this video, uh, talking about that pin or the keeper up there and the brake, brake rebuild, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please subscribe and bye till later. Thanks for watching.